हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू साइबर टी सो वी हैव केम सो फार एंड अंडरस्टूड द एनिमेशन एंड एक्सप्लोटेशन एक्सेट्रा बट वी हैव नॉट लर्न हाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड द मिटिगेशन और डिफेंस इन डेप डोंट वरी बिकॉज इन टूडेज चैलेंज ऑफ ट्राई हैकमी एडवेंट ऑफ साइबर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट डिफेंस इन डेप टॉपिक ऑन जेन के सो लेट सी हाउ वी कैन रिजोल्व द इशूज एंड अंडरस्टैंड डिफेंस इन डेप So let's start with our day 12 challenge where we are going to learn about defense in depth. So let's just understand the scenario of the Trihack me advent of cyber. So with the chaos of the recent merger, the company's security landscape has turned into the wild west. Servers and endpoints once considered a fortress now resembles neglected outputs of the frontiers, vulnerable to any attackers. As Mac Honeybell sifted through the reports, a sense of urgency gnaws at her. This is a ticking time bomb. She must to be herself. It's clear they need a strategy and fast. Determined, Mackenzie Belbel raises her chair and her reminding race with possibilities. Time to suit up, team. We are going to deep dive. She declares her turn a blend of resolve and excitement. Depth in defense, defense in depth isn't just a strategy. It's our lifeline. We are going to fortify every layers from the physical servers in the basement of the cloud floating above us. every byte every bit in this task we are just hoping into the mac hannibal shoes and exploring how the deep depth in defense is work strategy can be strengthen the environment's overall security posture so today in a uh, task we are going to learn about defense in depth basic endpoints hardening simple boot to boot methodology so let's just start with that so as i have already turned on my machines the machine will be playing around and all so we have to connect with the jenkins first but before that we have to connect with the sh of admin also so let me just copy that and hit enter okay he needs password also i guess yes the password will be super strong password 1 2 3 okay it's a really super strong <laughs> cool we have logged in into the sh of admins jenkins okay now we have to guided walk through the attack chain as discussed earlier we are dealing with the server that is vulnerable by design it contains misconfigurations and has been implemented with poor or simply non existent security practices this part of the task will walk you through one of the many ways we can elevate privileges on the server skipping the enumeration part we can access jenkins via firefox with this particular default port so let me just access it you can see that jenkins doesn't ask any username or password doesn't contains any login page we directly navigate into the jenkins dashboard so this is a vulnerable things over here and even in the worldwide internet if you perform a google doc of the jenkins there will be a many unauthenticated jenkins endpoints we can be redirected directly to the dashboard and perform some malicious attack over there so let's just understand about that getting a web shell we instantly gain access to the general working of the jenkins as earlier said explore the feature that we can play with and you will see that there will be a way to execute arbitrary scripts of the administrator troubleshootings and diagnosis on the machines so let's just move on to it so manage jenkins okay we can see manage old data security notes credentials okay and you can see that there is a tools and actions sections where we can script run so executes arbitrary scripts for the administrator troubleshootings and diagnosis so let's just access it okay we have to enter a groovy scripts over here so might be they had given over here yes they had given click on the manage jenkins and we had already done so let me just copy it directly over here copy paste copy paste and attacking machine ip over here so let me just copy the machine ip really okay and the init port bin bash slash okay so let me just explain you an overview this is a groovy reverse shell script where we are adding a string host where the attacker ip will be in okay let me just cancel this okay this will be a terminal's ip which we had got it from the uh, shells and the particular lab and we are hosting a port 6969 over here 
then we are using a command bin slash bash and we are running some particular process where we are building a new process with the command terminal and we are redirecting it to the true and then uh, we are using a socket where we are creating a new variable s is equal to new socket functions over here and let's just uh, start with our netcat listener so let me just start with that so copy and paste and hit enter okay so let me just run this particular jenkins as you can see that we have received a message connection from 10.10.115239 this particular code received it means that we had got a reverse shell directly so how we can come to know so let me just uh, perform a who am i command first okay you can see that we have got a jenkins over here let me just perform some basic command that is ls you can see there is a config.xml files config.back files and there is many other xml files as well as there is secret key.jenkins also so might be there will be uh, some suspicious things so let's just start and move with a particular way so let's just solve some of the questions over here what is the default ports for jenkins it was 8080 what was the password used for the user tracy so we need to go and understand it properly okay now the tracy user has came now that we have uh, got a web shell with the jenkins user we can explore the server contents for things that we can need to use to improve our shells and perhaps evaluate our privileges check the usual folders you will able to find an interesting bash script file in the opt slash script so let me just navigate to uh, let me just see the present working directory okay cd slash opt slash script pwd okay we are into the sl slash opt slash script one so for the better understanding let me just uh, make it a small size okay and we had get into the uh, particular directory and let's just perform a ls okay we can see the backup.sh files check the contents of the file you will simply need implementation of backing up the essential components of jenkins and then sending it to the folder this directory home slash tracy slash backup via via spc scp okay so let me just um, perform a cat backup dot sh okay we have got the username and the password that is 131n and underscore 33 so let me just hit enter over here so what is the password so it will be a 13 13 underscore 1 and underscore 33 so let me just submit it okay what is the root flag so again we have to learn and understand it properly so as we had got the password let's just uh, use this particular sh for tracy copy. enter what was the password so let me just copy it from here and yes we had get into the jenkins of tracy directly so the password is working so now let's just move ahead with that and finally we can use sudo hyphen l over here so let me just type sudo hyphen l okay password for the tracy let me just hit enter okay we had get into the sudo part of the error it means that tracy has the root access and with the all all it means that it has all right access over here so the all the line is the output essentially says that all the commands can be performed by tracy using sudo this means that user is created with inherently privileged access as such we can just enter the command sudo su and we are root okay so sudo su yes you can see that we we had got the root access and then defense in depth and its roles in hardening from the attacking point of view we are able to get straightforward root access to the server this is a bad news for defenders since the goal is to make it hard for the attackers as possible to get what they want in the next section of this task we'll establish defensive layer that aims to work together each layer making it own more complicated for the attackers to achieve their aims
defensive depth is also about the creating defensible environment whereby security controls are meant to be deter the bad actors from achieving their main goals notice that that emphasis isn't no on never getting compromise rather than it's making on sure that the bad actor don't succeed this way even if one of the more defensive layers get bypassed the stacking alone of these layers makes it much harder for the bad attackers sometimes this is actually enough for the bad attackers to try and minimize their losses and move on their easier targets so let's just start with that now we have to perform a removal of tracy from the sudo group so let's just start we should always follow the principle of least privilege especially for the system in production in this example the user tracy is made in such a way that it has the same permission as the admin this gives us a user a more flexibility however it also run the risk of the misuse on not only the owner account but also by the other who gain access in this account so how we can remove it so simply we have to perform a use account that is sudo delete user tracy sudo so let me just copy it and done removing user tracy from the group of sudo and it has been done so to perform it so let's just check it out sudo hyphen l u tracy so yep user tracy is not allowed to run on the jenkins so so yes as you can see that we have removed it from the jenkins so it will be like user tracy is not allowed from the jenkins we had got changes to the tracy account won't affect current session active sessions okay uh, that's why we had got a wrong answer over here so we have so we can test them by logging in again and tracy on the new terminal on our attacking machines that can change alone made the difference between the achieving root and saying the user tracy now the attacker is left with the three intermediate option further enumerate the server for possible routes to the root with the user tracy find a way to move literally with the system to the user with a possible route to access the access of the route finding a different target so we have to harden our sss over here so the path to route has been made for the complicated for the attacker but that doesn't mean we should stop here attackers can be very creative in finding all sort of ways to accomplish privilege escalations any additional layer will make it lot harder for the bad actors to achieve their objectives remember that as attacker we will able to use the ssh in the server to move laterally from the lower user access to higher level in light of this we can disable password based ssh login so we can thwart the possibility of the ssh login via compromised plain text credentials that are being used lying around so in the admin shell go to the slash etc slash ssh config file so let me just copy it so we have got into the ssh config file and edit it using your favorite text editor find the lines it says that password authentication is yes okay so let me just move into over here so yeah we had seen this over here and perform it and change it to password authentication no okay and we have to remove the hashtag also that is the comment part so it might work so no and we can see that we had got one particular um ha flag that is need secure this shell so let me just copy it and then paste it in the over here and check it out ssh flags so submit it yes we had submit that particular flag and then let's just move ahead and proceed further next find the line says that include slash etc slash ssh ssd config and d and change it to into the comment comment it out it means like that so let me just comment it okay there it is let me just comment it cool save the file and then enter the command this okay so control o enter control x and then we have to perform a restart command of ssh copy paste yes we have done that in the example below the egrab command shows the what lines with the file should look like so 
let me just copy this this is just for the checking purpose okay so we had include and comment it out and we had done a password authentication no as you can see it is same like that and system restart ssh over here so let me just again perform it yes authentication is required for the try hack me no issue we have the password copy paste and hit enter okay authentication has been completed now simply we have to perform a let's just hit exit over here exit exit yes and if we try okay i need to copy this from board copy paste it okay tracy uh, permission has been denied over here cool it's worth nothing that applying the hardened step assumes that there are other ways for user to log in into the system admin account included and it usually the involves the steps of the passwordless ssh login however for our purposes we can opt no to do that anymore now we have to move further with the strong password policies so another pivot emphasis in our attack exercise earlier was the plain text password discovery that was let into the ssh access to the higher privileged user there will be two immediate things that are appended here so the parent is weaker and may be susceptible to the brute force attack the user employed and the bad password practices putting plain text credentials on a script and leaving it lying around the anyone with the server can access and see so we have to perform a zero trust so once we had applied our learning steps discuss you will notice that we are able to patch many of the vulnerabilities that initially exploited to get into the root so again we have to move back instead of opening working on the platform everyone in the environment this will allow us to those who access the platform only in the admin terminal proceed to jenkins here is the home directory with the command so let me just move into over here copy that okay we had get into that here you will see there will be two version of jenkins config files so let me just hit ls and yeah we can see there is a config.xml config.xml dot back over here so config yes fortunately for us the administrator kept a backup for the original configuration files before implementing the current one as such it will be more straightforward for us to revert it back for to the original before removing the comment in the xml files for the reference they had given the particular syntax and we have to remove the comment it out so we have to get uh, let me just copy this copy and hit a uh, nano yes and afterwards we have to remove this comment section control o, enter control x but before that let's just see that are there any kind of flags or not over here so let me just hover it out okay full trust has no place for security let me just copy it control 60 okay we had got and there is a root flag it is in the gen things like i guess yes okay and hit control x over here and then move back to over here and then use a command to just confirm it if we had done a proper or not so let me just copy it and paste hit enter okay we had done i guess and let's just move ahead and see uh, if we got any if we logged out or not so let me just remove this okay still we are able to access it so let let us just confirm it okay the reason why it is not happened because we had only performed a changes in our config.xml.back file so we have to remove this config.xml file so let me just copy this command and then paste copy remove the config.xml file are you sure yes okay permission denied so i guess sudo 
and then rm yes we had removed and then we have to copy this particular xml dot file and renaming it as config dot xml so copy and we have to perform a sudo again and hit enter yes we have done restart the services so let me just restart the jenkins over here hit enter let's just wait for a second yes it has been done so let me just refresh it and try to see as you can see that we had get back into the jenkins login page because previously we had seen that uh, we it was directly navigated into the dashboard and we can perform some of the actions like managing the scripts and all so now as an attacker even if he tries to get into the main domain it will get a login page over here but now coming to this coming to this particular questions let's just solve this what are the root flags so get back to the terminal make just full screen or else this one will be good okay it says that uh permission denied but we can get back over here and we can see if we can get any kind of correct or not so what is the root flag so let me just copy that it was is root without that so copy this and what was the error so it was starting with the sorry one so let me just see and get back to you let me just paste it over here and it will be a gen kings over here and hit submit yes it was correct so we have solved all the questions and yes i hope you enjoyed this particular room it was a little bit tricky and hard to understand because it is from the defense side not from the attacker's perspectives so it was a great and amazing to learn about the defense in depth so i hope you understand what is defense in depth because in cyber security or in penetration testing exploitation is not only the part we have to look for but also we have to focus on the mitigation how we can provide our best security pro practices before any attack happens so i'll see you in the next session till that time goodbye and jai hind